What I enjoy the most about the DPT program here is that we have the opportunity to work in the pro bono clinic. So even during our first year, we get paired up with other students and we get to treat patients in our first year. The pro bono clinic is a great way to kind of connect what you're doing in class to an actual patient. We're really trying to move the students away from kind of straight rote memorization to really having an understanding of the material and then having the ability to apply that material in their practice of physical therapy. With this program you should expect a lot of reading and coursework, but the good thing is we put that information to practice right away. My students are literally learning about working with patients who have had a spinal cord injury and then an hour later going into pro bono and working with our client who has had a very severe spinal cord injury. I've been in class and I'm like, I could literally use this on my patient tomorrow. Everyone has to have a th three clinicals in our program. The first two are 10 weeks long and the third one is 14 weeks. And we have ongoing contracts with different facilities all around the United States. Many programs, they have their full-time clinical education work all at the end after the students have completed all of their classes. And with our program, having it kind of integrated into the curriculum like that means that they get to go out and learn in the clinic and they kind of have the ability to reflect on that experience. Every student goes out on a clinical. Getting placed for that process is great. We have many different options that you can choose from. You first come in and you get mentored by a cohort above you. The second semester you're still getting mentored but by a different cohort so they have different perspective. And then in the summer you're mentoring each other and then you go out on clinical and now you become a mentor. So it's like you learn it and you teach it and then you know it. Many programs now are, you know, 50, 60, 100, even, even more sometimes students in a cohort. We are a smaller cohort by design and it works out really, really well. We max out at a cohort of 30. The small class size is gonna benefit you more than I think you know. Honestly, I was kind of nervous for a small program. I don't really like being called out a lot but I've learned that it's really good for my education. It's really nice because I get to know my classmates better and it makes it a lot easier to form study groups and have those more personal connections with each other. And I've already become so close to some of my classmates, even though it's only been two months. All of my classmates and I were just like immediately friends, like we clicked right away. Being in the Navy for seven and a half years, and you know, I was really stressed about getting back to that academic life. Plymouth and the staff here didn't make me feel different or anything. They wanted to ensure that I understood or I knew a way forward. As the director of clinical education, I have a lot of students coming in trying to get advising as to next steps in their career path and my door is always open. The faculty members are really friendly and they're really approachable and they, they go out of their way to make sure that they provide you with the best resources. The faculty staff are always here for questions and you know it could be during their office hours or it could be on a random you know Tuesday at 3 p.m. It's also really cool we have a professor who wrote um, his own book and we use that for one of the classes so it's really nice getting taught by the person who knows everything in the book. I think when researching programs, look beyond just the name on the school. I think it's really easy to get wrapped up in, oh, it would be really cool to go to this, this place because it's a, a big name place. But I think looking at really what makes a school special is more important than the big title that might grab you at the front door.